Hey everyone, welcome back to coding stuff. So we are remaining with just two operation uh, get all data at once and delete all data at once. So in this video, we'll learn how to get all the data at once. And in the next video, we'll learn how to delete all the data at once. So let's start writing the code. So just after this uh, delete data, we'll create one method. So public void get all data and we'll just add on click listener to our show all data button show all button so set on click listener new on click listener and we'll just call this method here get all data and in our database helper file we'll create one method Let me add some space. Okay, so public, it will be type of cursor because we are uh, receiving data, retrieving data from the database. So anything that is coming from database, it's like database that will be in the type of cursor. So public cursor get all data, and we don't have to pass any parameter here. So first uh, we are going to just create one SQLite database instance. So now we'll create one cursor instance. So cursor cursor db dot raw query and here we'll pass one query that will be select all from and then space plus table name and then we'll pass null as a selection arguments and we'll just uh, return cursor here so return cursor okay now we'll jump to our main activity and we'll start writing here our code so now we'll just create one cursor so cursor cursor co equals my db dot get all data and then we'll create one string buffer instance so string buffer buffer equals new string buffer and then we'll check if there is a data in cursor or not so if there is no data in cursor we'll just uh, pass a message as no data found in our alert dialog so cursor dot get count if this is equal to zero means there is no data in cursor so if this is the case then show message data and nothing found and we'll just uh, return after this so return and then we have to get all the data from this cursor so we have to use while because we have to iterate to this cursor so while cursor dot move to next then we have to append the values in this string buffer so buffer dot append id plus concatenate it with uh, this cursor dot get string sorry get string and the index is zero then concatenate it with the next line and so we'll just duplicate it two more time and this will be one and this will be two this will be name this will be email and we'll just pass your extra next line okay so now we'll just show the message so show message data and we'll pass your buffer and uh, it is a string buffer so we have to convert it into string because the show message method takes parameter as a string or uh, title and string message okay so buffer dot to string and we'll just run our application and check if it's working or not so okay uh, now we'll just click our click to our show all data button so you can see uh, data is showing one three and five we have deleted uh, two and four that's why it's not showing up here so this is working so in the next video we'll see how to delete all this data at once so make sure you subscribe the channel for upcoming tutorials thank you for watching